it's Mystery Box Fiend, we are back. And today I have a mystery box sent to me from Stash Loot. Uh, now, going back a couple of weeks ago, they had an epic mystery box set that was $50 per box. Um, if you bought two boxes, you got a bit of a discount. I actually bought four. So inside of this box, there should be four separate boxes. Um, and each box had between two and four pops per box. There was some amazing grail hits in there. There was Tony the Tiger. There was Toucan, as you can see from the picture that I've got up on the screen. Some amazing, amazing hits. So, I'm very excited. My box, it finally arrived. It's taken about three, four weeks to get here um, due to everything that's happening on in the world. But I am so excited. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in the stash loot mystery box that I got four of these boxes. So I know that they've probably been open going through customs and stuff like that to get to me. Um, but that's okay. I can live with that. I, as long as they haven't damaged them, uh, then we're okay. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look on the inside box. It's a square box. Uh, so, but there should be something in the vicinity of, um, you know, realistically there should be a minimum of eight pops inside of this box. So, I can't, I, reaching in, they're not individually sealed, but I can feel loads of soft pop protectors. Uh, so, I don't know whether that's a good sign or not. I don't know how Stash Loot have sent, but feeling around my way around inside that box I think the best thing we can do let's jump on in and let's start pulling them out and seeing what we get all right so I have no idea what's gonna be great hits or or anything like that so here we go pop number one ready set go bang game of thrones night king special edition it's got the sticker on there Looks pretty good. It's obviously sitting inside of a pop protector. I do have the exact same one. Oh no, 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 no. So the one that I've got, I've just grabbed off my shelf, is the summer 2017, it's black. This one is silver. So this is exciting. Very, very excited to see what happens with this one. So, all right, Ooh, happy days. So because I've already got one of these in my collection, there's a high chance that that one's gonna stay in my collection as well. I love Game of Thrones. Amazing, amazing show. All right, so, I can't really feel which way the pop protector clips in on this one. Maybe that's the top, that's the bottom. All right. Either which way, ready, set, go. Let's pull that second one. Boom. Sorry, it's facing me. Scott Howard, Teen Wolf. 2019, limited edition. Interesting. I've never seen this movie or show. Um, oh, it's a movie, obviously. But looking at it, it's a... Obviously, it's got a sticker on the bottom that says $30. Nice. Oh, $50 on the bottom of Night King. So this may eliminate the need to actually um, do the Funko price guide. But hey, look, for, this, for the fun of it all, we're still going to do it at the end. I want to see what, how close these numbers still are. So two pops down. I think that's the back. All right, number three. Ready, set, go. Boom. Gargoyles. Demonia. That's a pretty cool looking one. A bit weird looking. Grey, stony. It is a Hot Topic exclusive. No sticker on the bottom. Bit sad. So, looking at the dates on the bottom, 8, 16, 14, 4. So, that may be a 2018. Interesting. All right. Two. Oh, there's 
a weird feeling one in here. We'll leave that one for a little bit. All right, next one. Again, these are all in soft pop protectors. So obviously these pops are gonna be well looked after, which is nice. All right, so pop number four, go. Power Rangers. Oh! Pink Ranger, signed by one of the top hits. That is freaking awesome. That gives me Red Ranger, uh, no, that gives me the Green Ranger, and I think I've also got Red Ranger floating, oh no, Black Ranger without a mask. That is cool, that is awesome. This will be in my collection for sure. Absolutely pumped on that hit. Wow, wow, wow. Love it, Stash Loop, nice. Okay. Can't really feel. It feels like there's one that's not in a protector. Weird. Okay. So we've got soft pop protector. Oh, I'm, so excited. I'm excited about this. Ready, set, go. Let's play the next one. Boom. Black Panther. No. Oh, Shuri. Okay. Awesome. We've got Black Panther from on the back here. It's a 2018 Fall Exclusive Convention. Now, I have seen the sticker on the bottom of this. If this price is right, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome hit. $125. Bearing in mind, for this box that I'm sitting here with, I paid $175 US dollars for it. I've well and truly got my money back. Just in that Pink Ranger one, um, and, and Shuri. That is awesome. Now, there's a couple in here that aren't actually pop protectors by the field. So we're gonna leave, I'm gonna pull that one out. There's still, there's still one more in a pop protector. There are two, there's one that feels weird. I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna pull that one out next. All right, let's start with this one here. Go. Jingles. Oh, that felt like it wasn't even in a pop protector. It's a Funko limited edition. No sticker on the bottom. Made by uh, Spastic Plastic. So that's pretty cool. Bit of a Christmassy one, I'm guessing. Obviously, given that it's a Christmas decoration, it looks like a bauble with a little hook on his head. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull this one that just feels weird. Oh, hang on, here we go. Stash loot pop-up shop card. Make sure you follow these guys, Stash Loot. This is this is crazy good. I'm I'm loving this. Um so alright, ready set go. Let's pull the next one out. So that one's in a pop protector. That one's in a pop they're both in pop protectors. I'm gonna leave the weird feeling one to last. I'm not sure what it is. It feels weird. Alright, let's grab the last one here. Okay. Uh, second last one. There's two in here still. I just can't find the back of that one. Okay. Uh, so pop number seven. Ready, set, go. Boom. Conan O'Brien. I do have this one already. He is sitting up there. It is the 2019 25th anniversary. This is the third one of these I've got. Um, pretty good on value, I believe. I think they're holding value at about 30 bucks, but... We'll check it all out. We'll check it all out. Now, this is the exciting one. Um, I really did want the Tony the Tiger. Um, I did see somebody pull that and the Toucan 1000 piece limited edition one. I was really angling for that one too. I really wanted that one, uh, but I have seen that pulled. So I know it's not either of those, but I guess I haven't seen anybody that's pulled the Ant-Man Freddy Funko yet. So... Hey, look, if I got that one, I would be tremendously, tremendously happy. But feeling around inside of here, there's one pop left, bubble wrap all the way. Ready, set, go. Let's grab this last one out so that we can start checking some prices. I really want to see some prices. And I'm going to pull that pink Ranger one out of the pop protector and have a look at that too. So, all right. Without further ado, pop number eight, Stash Loot's mystery, $50 mystery box, four boxes that I've purchased. This is the last one from it. Ready, set, go. It is quite heavy. Bang. Funko. 
2000 Pauly Pigeon. No price on the bottom. 2019 New York Comic Con exclusive. I have never seen this pop. It is actually in a pop shield protector. You can tell the pop shields by, by on the top. It is the only one that's in a pop shield pop protector. It's even still got the original plastic wrap from the pop shield pop protector. Feels a bit weighty, but 2019 Comic-Con limited edition. Interesting, interesting. Paulie the Pigeon. I must say, without yipping all these boxes out and uh, sort of really pulling them apart to have a geese at them, all of the boxes look like they were in mint condition. So, nothing else inside the box. Wow, some incredible hits. Now, while I go and grab my other phone so that we can start checking out some pricing, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and tell me what your favorite pull out of this box is. I've got a couple, and I'm not price driven about what pops are worth in terms of price. I just love the cool factor. So for me, Night King, I'm really, you know, sort of smitten about the Night King. And Pink Ranger. I grew up watching the Power Rangers. It was a cracking show. Um, you know, Green Ranger all the way. Everyone loved the Green Ranger and Dragon Zord. I am super pumped to have gotten one of the sign pops. That is my first sign pop. So, Stash Loop, thank you for supplying me the first sign pop in my collection. So, probably these two, by far, are going to be my most favourite hits. However, I want to see the value of everything else that we've got. I mean, I don't know anything about this one. As I said, I have got this one. It is sitting just off camera over here. You know, are these stickers on the bottom correct? Because if that's true, Shuri is a amazing hit. So I'm gonna go grab my other phone. I'm gonna be right back with you. As I said, throw a comment below. Tell me your favorite hit. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell for notifications about the next videos that are upcoming. And I'm going to be right back with you as soon as I grab my other phone. Alright, so we're back. Okay, got my other phone. We're in the Funko app. Let's get cracking and find out some prices. So, Scott Howard, Team Wolf, is the San Diego Comic Con Summer Convention Target exclusive. And that one is trending at $18. Mr. Conan, as I said, I believe he's around about the $30 mark. This is his 25th year, uh, 25th year anniversary limited edition. Currently trending $23. Can't get my phone any closer because it's on charge because it's almost flat. Okay, jingles. So let's check out Jingles. Eleven dollars is the trending value for Jingles. So none of those three have been amazingly bang hits. Okay, so gargoyles. Let me just quickly. This one's got a sticker over the top of the barcode, so I can't use the Funko app to price this one up. Let me just have a quick look and come back to you with what the price on this one is. Okay, so according to PPG, uh, this one here, Demona, $10. Shuri. Now, this is the exciting one. This one's got the 125 sticker on the bottom. So... I'm really excited to see what the value on this one is. Because if it's $125, that is crazy. Okay. Ugh, bugger. So, is exclusive to GameStop and the New York Comic Con. Trending value is $15. So my guess is, is that Stash Loops have just reused the... Uh, Pop protectors um, that's obviously had a $125 pop in it. What a shame I didn't get that, but hey, look. Okay, let's move on to Paulie Pigeon from Funko. So, 
New York 2019 Comic Con exclusive. See more Freddy Funko. New York Comic Con Funko Shop. Eight dollars. It's New York Comic Con icons. Pop Shield, Pop Protector. I might just look this one up on PPG just to make sure that the Funko app's right. Bear with me. Even according to PPG, only eight dollars. Leave away the pop shield pop protector. Okay, so next one we're gonna hit up is Game of Thrones. So this has got the overseas special uh, sticker. Again, on the bottom of it, it's got a $50 sticker on the back of it. Um, it is the metallic version, which is pretty cool. As I said, there's a high chance that this is going to wind up in my collection because I just like Game of Thrones and The Night King was pretty cool. So, sticker says $50. Funko app, Night King metallic. Exclusive to AT&T. That's what we've got, our special edition sticker. Metallic, $10? I am going to check that one again as well on PPG just to be safe. Okay, so according to PPG, spot on, $10, the end. Which brings us to Pink Ranger. There's no point in even checking this one on the PPG or the Funko app. It will be impossible, impossible, impossible to price it because it is signed by the actor or actress, sorry, um, who played Pink Ranger. So as I said, Stash Loop, this is my very first um, signed pop. It will stay in my collection. This is not getting on sold or swapped out for anything. Um, very, very cool. I do love it. So, four boxes, eight pops, you know, every, definitely no guaranteed value, but as I said, Pink Ranger was one of the, the grail hits out of it, so very, very happy to at least have hit one grail. Um, the rest of it, look, you know, I'm pretty happy with my Night King as well. Those two definitely are my favourites. They will stay with me. But, folks, that was Stash Loot's mystery box, $50 of a box, mystery box. It was awesome. Really enjoyed it. Thank you, Stash Loot, for shipping it out to me um, and working with me to get that sorted out. I really, really appreciate it. There you go, folks. Give me a comment below. What was your favourite pop out of the box? Talk to you all soon.